Hello Facebook land. I hope I don't burn myself. So this is the sugar mixture that I'm doing. I did it just like I do my candy apples. So I did um, one and a half cups of sugar, a half a cup of water, and a fourth a cup of corn syrup to stabilize and help the sugar not to crystallize. So I've done candy apples before, but I have never in my life done poured sugar coral. And I'm making a mermaid cake for my cousin's um, little girl for tomorrow. So I thought we'd try it. Um, so what I've done is I'm taking, Erin, can you get close? I'm taking the sugar, and if you can see, I've got one of those cheap little thermometers um, from Walmart, and I'm taking it to hard crack stage. We're almost at hard crack stage, and so as soon as it gets to hard crack stage, I'm going to take it out and put a little bit of neon blue food coloring gel in it, and then we are going to, Erin, can you pan over? We're gonna pour it over ice. Um, the ice has been sitting out a little bit because I did not think it was gonna take quite as long to boil the sugar. So, um, once the um, sugar hits the ice, it should start to harden really, really quickly, in theory. So we'll see if that works, okay? Should. All right, it should. Um, <laughs> my sister is behind the camera. Erin, turn around and say hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We are at hard crack stage, so I'm going to take it off. Take my thermometer out. I have not um, really stirred it because the more you stir, uh, the more you stir a um, a sugar mixture, the more bubbles it gets, and we don't want bubbles in our coral. Well, I mean, I guess there could be bubbles since it's under the sea, but you know. Okay, so this is the gel food coloring. You wait till the till you're ready to pour it to put any kind of flavoring or gel food coloring. Just for those of you if you're going to make like candy apples or something because if you do it before it will burn and it tastes nasty and it's gross and nobody wants that. Okay. I'm getting it all mixed in. Say hi to Jesse. Hi Jesse. Sarah, I haven't burned myself yet. <laughs> All right, so we're just about completely mixed in. I'm doing it really gently just to try to keep the bubbles from happening. Although it does look quite bubbly, but that's just because it's been boiling. And when things boil, it bubbles. Okay, y'all ready? Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, I'm so pumped. Okay, here we go. Pouring the hot sugar mixture. Let's do some up here. Yes! Y'all look at that. Mm. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is going to be a crazy mess to clean up. I have to apologize to my mama. Mama, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> Okay, so we've got it in there. It's nice and stringy. Okay, if you look, look at this. It's already starting to harden. You'll see that. Oh, that was quick. Okay, so I don't want to touch it. Do you immediately take it out? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. It's not hot. Touch it, Aaron. Oh, oh, it's a little hot. It's a little oh, bit hot, it's but it's, hot. Not, it's not like bad hot. Okay, so I think... I don't know. Just, just I try. Think I just. <gasps> oh, oh, shut up! Look at that. Look at that's how cool so that is. Cool. Oh, that that was a little that a little hot. <laughs> Sarah burned myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. So, I oh guess as the ice continues to melt, like you just have these little pieces. <gasps> that's that gonna be so, so cute, cute on the mermaid cake oh my gosh awesome all right Erin look at me thanks for watching I'm glad I didn't get a third degree burn I'll post <laughs> the cake later for you guys to see